The member for Reid. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. My constituency question is to the Prime Minister. As you're aware, Prime Minister, in my electorate of Reid, I have a large Australian Turkish community. Ganesh Gunjor from the Australian Turkish Advocacy Alliance has asked if you could please outline the government's objectives for the G20 meeting in Turkey and how our, our bilateral ties with Turkey will be strengthened as a result. The Prime Minister has the call. Yeah, I, I, I thank the honourable member for his question. And I can say, I can members say on my Mr. Left, Speaker, a number have been warned that, that just as Australia is the most successful multicultural society in the world, there is no electorate in this, represented in this House that is more multicultural than the electorate of Reid. The honourable member, the honourable member, the honourable member represents represents a diverse members range on of my left from many different faiths and many different, di different cultural backgrounds. He doesn't just talk about multiculturalism, he lives it. He absolutely lives it. He's the chairman of the Parliamentary Friends of Turkey group and, of course, right in the heart of his electorate is the magnificent Auburn Gallipoli Mosque, the biggest mosque in Australia. And it reflects, of course, the uh, shared heritage between Australia and Turkey, because both our countries foundation stories were written on the Gallipoli Peninsula. And, and it, is a, it is a remarkable thing. Two or three nations, if you include New Zealand, three nations had their national stories founded on, at Gallipoli. And that is why the bonds of friendship, despite the horror of that war, are so strong between Australia and Turkey. And of course, the honourable member on, uh, just uh, on Monday spoke in this place to commemorate the passing of the great uh, Turkish leader, the founder of modern Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Now, Mr Speaker, the G20 is the preeminent forum for global economic cooperation. And Australia, as the most recent G20 host, has been pivotal in focusing the G20 on the goal of maintaining strong, sustainable and balanced growth and on job creation. And we need to maintain the G20's attention on promoting future growth, global growth through innovation, through structural reform and through infrastructure, rather than simply looking backwards at the global financial crisis, which of course was naturally such a focus some years ago. So while I'll be working at the G20 with other leaders, including President Erdogan, our host, the President of Turkey, uh, to open up global trade, better financial regulation, deal with base erosion and profit shifting more consistently, uh, promote more inf in infrastructure investment. Remember, honourable members should remember that the infrastructure hub for the G20 is located in Australia, in Sydney. And above all, by harnessing the global economic opportunities given to us for innovation superpowered by the internet and technology. Every nation is talking about innovation. Every nation is focused on technology that, regrettably, the opposition shows no interest in that at all.